Hi, and welcome back to Talking Reptiles. Today we have a species spotlight on a snake that has become very popular in the pet trade known as the carpet python. Carpet pythons are native to Australia, and while they're a good sized snake, they're not as big as some of the other better known types of pythons out there. Some pythons can reach really, really big lengths, up to 200 pounds in weight and nearly 20 feet long. Well, as far as size for a carpet python goes, they are a decent sized snake themselves. Uh, this is about half grown. Carpet pythons come in what are called six to eight different subspecies. I say six to eight because it depends on the source that you look at, but a subspecies simply means a certain locality that has a few genes different from another population. And some of those genes for size and some subspecies might limit the snake at only five to six feet where other subspecies are known for growing up to nine and sometimes even 10 feet long. It's safe to say that an average size, however, for a carpet python that you get in the pet trade could be anywhere from six to nine feet long. So this one right here is about half grown. It's nearly five feet long at the last time we tried to measure it. And as you can tell with their movement, it's not always easy to get an accurate measurement on a live snake. But check this snake out, the way it's moving around. Carpet python, the name is probably derived from the markings making it look like a carpet but they certainly don't lie flat on the ground like a carpet. Carpet pythons are a thinner bodied, lighter weight type of python that spend a lot of time up in the trees and climbing. And that's something to be aware of. Pythons are yes, constrictors and pythons, yes, have teeth for grabbing and holding their prey. But as a tree dwelling python, it has extra large teeth. And this is known for many of the other tree pythons and boas as well. And those large teeth are really useful while hunting. A tree dweller might feed on something like birds and birds have a dense covering of feathers. So in order to grab a hold of your prey, you need teeth that are not only gonna penetrate the feathers, but also make contact in grabbing the body of that animal. In captivity, however, these guys feed mostly on frozen thawed mice and rats of appropriate size as they get older. And although most snakes are known for being able to swallow things larger than their own head, carpet pythons are really, really good at it. Some of the uh, biggest feats that you see on the internet of big snakes swallowing even bigger prey are of things like carpet pythons and their relatives from Australia. So that's what we uh, wanted to share with you today. Just a quick species spotlight, let you know that while they are popular as pets, they do of course exist out there in the wild. And uh, hopefully in the future, we can bring you a little bit more information about their setup and care in captivity. So that means as always, keep coming back, checking out Talking Reptiles to keep learning as we move forward.